Good day to you everybody, and this is Overkill coming to you again from Dark Souls. Where last we left off, my f frame rate was going to crap and I could not record. And we've got ourselves almost six and a half thousand souls. Which I am not going to waste upgrading that Crest Shield. The Crest Shield is a very good acquisition this early on in the game. But we'll need it for later, so I am saving that. My apologies, for the past uh, two days my nose has been blocked up, so it does not feel good right now. The Bastard Sword is certainly very good, but the uh, it will has better damage than the uh, Claymore, but it's a lot shorter in its moveset. I prefer, definitely prefer the Claymore. Now, the longsword has thrust attacks, whereas the broadsword is all slashing. Yeah. In the wide blade of the straight sword emphasizes slicing and has no thrust attack. That's the knight starter sword and the broadsword. I prefer the longsword as well. Um, let's see. So, we're just gonna go through and upgrade our crap some more. Play more! Instantly ran out of. Titan Knight Shards there. Don't, by the way, don't worry. As the game progresses, this will get much, much easier to upgrade on Shizzle. That did not mean to do that. The Battle Axe is quite good to upgrade as well, but I'm going with Longsword here because I already have a plan on what I want to do with some of the later gear we're going to pick up. Yes. Here's the longsword's move set. Oh. Hello, random guy. You've got the Black Knight sword and you've got a Baldur helmet. Yeah, that was the Black Knight sword, which is a great sword. So this is the longsword's move set. So kind of pretty much the same as the Claymore. Well, it is the same as the Claymore, just in a smaller version, I guess you could say. So today we are going, because I managed to get up to the boss room where they are at the last time, we are going to try and take out the Bell Gargoyles. So the Bell Gargoyles are kind of tough, but not as tough as other bosses will be later on in the game. I only say they're tough because this is a point about halfway through the fight. Two Bell Gargoyles will come out, which makes it rather annoying, so... BOOM! Right through the chest cavity. Up through the bottom of the rib cage, through the chest cavity. Yeah, and that's a channeler up there, we don't want to deal with him right now. Ouch. Should not have done that. Should have waited for a second to see what was going to happen. Okay, here's where the crest shield will shine. Because we see that we have a channel up here. You can hear him spa spazzing out about something. See that? The crest shield is working wonders for us here. No, you don't. I'm going to deal with your little pals here first. It's a jump attack, Danny. God damn it, this is getting intense up here. Last one, I think, before the channeler himself. And let's deal with this one, bro. Boom! Get down on the ground, boyo. Blocking. Yeah, that's a helpful hint. I think I heard something else just then, but we'll let it go for now. Let's see. Uh, which has better fire resistance? Yeah, spider shield. The bell gargoyles use fire attacks against physical, so it just makes sense to have 
good fire resistant shield. Okay, I'm gonna heal up because this guy, it's another one of these guys who are rather annoying to deal with. And I should not have started that attack when I did because that was a bad decision to make. Prisoner ahead, thank you. Like I didn't know that already. So, over here there should be some items, so rather a man item, not a, because that would be a horrible grammar, and I would hate myself for saying that. Yeah, humanity. There's a humanity item in there. And now, for the prisoner that was mentioned there, kick this in. Then up here is a guy named, well, he's a special guy. Oh, then I am as you... This guy's an asshole, but he gives you f a reward for rescuing him like this, so... Let me talk to him, damn it. Thank you. I, I truly approve. Yes, yes, a reward only later. Damn you, Lawtrek. Damn you. Whee! So now to go back to where we started. So, the best advice, so up here is the boss, like I said, they're called the Bell Gargoyles. If you want to go human form and you have the humanity to spare, then it is almost recommended by me to boss ahead. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Let's check what has the best fire defense, not that. That is better fire defense. Oh, that looks horrible, but... Ugh. And I'm fat rolling now. Let's see. Ah, uh, 28. Should be. God damn it, bald armor. Oh well, I'll have to go with this. Come on, son! So... Weakness tail. Yeah, if you cut off the tail, you get a special item called Gargoyle's Tail Axe. Which is actually quite good for a boss item, I guess. Yeah, see him? It's pretty damn obvious which one is the one you're gonna fight. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Just gotta imagine him in a funny tone of voice and it's hilarious. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop your pissing screaming. The Drake Sword helps loads in this fight, as you can tell. Son. Come on, stop running away, you frick. No, not allowed. If you're paying attention to it, then you can probably tell that the music that plays is the same as the Taurus Demon boss battle music. Yes! I got it, you frick. So it's always best to focus on one and take him out first. Because the other one will just spam flames in your face. As I just remembered. And I am definitely gonna die here. Oh wow, how did I avoid death? There goes one. Now he's gonna deal with the other. Heal up quickly. This one's really easy to deal with. He rarely uses physical attacks compared to his brother. And I don't even know how that is. And I say he's easy to. I don't know why I didn't just quit Boulder Armor because I haven't rolled once yet this fight. Boom! I win! 
victory! Twin Humanities, Gogo Helm, not bad, not bad. Gogo Helm was better than what we have. Although it weighs a bit more. Let's see, can I still... Yes, I can still medium roll, but can I do that with... Wait, they more always the same as the dragon. That's the Drake sword, so why am I even doubting it? So the, uh, Gargoyle, Gargoyle Helm looks kind of crappy, but it's decent. So, this is the Gargoyle's tail axe. You see those bars at the bottom of the screen? It boosts your resistances by the same amount of that that shows up there. So from top to bottom is poison, toxic, and bleed that boosts your resistances in. So, off to ring the first bell of awakening, because we are in a church, if you forgot. And now, even if we go human, we can no longer be invaded by people, because one of the t two conditions for invading, or co-op play, where, you, where somebody is invaded, the person who is being invaded has to be in human form and in an area where they have not defeated the boss. Little cutscene. Um, the sound doesn't sync up with the motion of the bell, but... It still looks pretty cool. So, that is the Undead Parish finished. And now, we head to Blight Town, which does not sound nice, and it is not nice. For a trip to Blight Town, I suggest bringing a lot of arrows. And this guy, the first time I saw him here, he gave me a heart attack, and I very nearly attacked him. Blah, 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 blah. You can abandon your covenant. You have not sinned. Purging Stone Indictment, because I don't like people invading me. Oh, Poison Bite Ring. We we should get that. That helps ex an extreme amount in Blight Town. Stocking up on it. Stocking up on, on indictments. Whatever, man. Whatever. So, that was the third boss in the game. Depending on how you play it. I usually play it this way because they're the third easiest to deal with. Sorry if you hear something in the background, my dog's wanting to play with somebody. We have an easy track back to Blight Town too if we decide to go back that way, but we can also go back the way of the dragon. Come at me, bro. Oh, shit. I got both of them on my case now. <laughs> Die. Older armor. Lucky. There should be another one there in the corner. Yes, I was right. Boom! That Irma will not save you. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, and hang back by the bonfire. Well, I'm gonna go head back to the bonfire, bleh. Well, first of all, I'm gonna deal with the extra enemies that are around here that we haven't dealt with yet. Then I'm gonna go head back to the bonfire and farm until we can get the blood bite ring. So, be back in a bit as... Shadow, it's okay, puppy. There's no need to whine. Spine break. I find that so much easier than, uh... Ooh, free tight night shirt. Thank you. Whore. Anyway, so... Be back in a bit. Alright, guys, so we are back, and... Because I actually got a request and a private message from somebody who watched the video, they want me to see me try and take out this Dark Knight up here. If we succeed, it means it'll put us, it'll push us past our 15,000 souls uh, quest mark for the 
bl uh, not blood bite, sorry, po poison bite ring, which will help us immensely in Blight Town. So don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. Yes! And now we sprint back downstairs like a little girl. Because there's no way we can fight that guy up there. Because that great sort of his is a massive stamina drain. So, I've already taken care of all the enemies in the vicinity. Except for this guy, so... We're just waiting for him now, and I should heal up before he attempts to one-shot me. So you're coming down to what, buddy? I have the time to take a drink of water. Mm. Delicious water! Whoops. I can't tell if he's coming down or not. I assume he is. In which case, I probably just screwed myself by going back up, but... Maybe he's actually gone up back to his post. Which, it looks like he might have. Although, yes, he has. Which means that we should be able to get another backstab in. Okay. I don't even know why, but the camera's just really screwed up right now. Okay, that was why. Uh, oh my god! That just scared the shit out of me. Knight shields. That's actually pretty good. He actually dropped something. I'm surprised. So let's see. 95% uh, fire resistance, but like zero percent, <laughs> like only 25% magic resistance. That's actually pretty good. We're gonna keep. We're gonna use this for a while, and I'm gonna head back. Oh wow! Wait, he didn't give me as many souls as I thought. Well, I'm gonna go back to my farming. So. See you guys in a bit. Hello again, and we are back after pick after farming for a bit and getting 15,000 souls. And I picked up a new unique weapon, which you can only get one of in each playthrough. The Halberd. You can get a crystal Halberd later on, but this is the only repairable Halberd you get in the game. Or rather, regular Halberd. So standard light attack is just a thrust. One-handed is one-handed strong attack is a slash. One-handed, uh, I mean two-handed light attack is a regular thrust. And then the two-handed strong attack is pretty cool. It's a windmill move, or a helicopter move. It can be used to great effect. It's a, primarily a thrusting weapon, but it also has the slashing moves of swords. So it's quite good for people who know how to use it, which I don't. So we're going to talk to this guy. Um, poison bite one. That's what will help immensely. And I'm going to equip it right now because we have no rings otherwise anyways. So, I'm gonna start heading back down to the Undead Parish and back to where the Depths and the, um, Undead Burg, sorry. Back down to where the Depths and Blight Town are. So, Gonna head back to the bonfire first and repair some. Actually, you know what? Let's go heading back to the bonfire. Don't need to go there. I'm gonna swap back to the spider shield here. Guess if we could. And my frame rate has died because of this area. I honestly don't know why, so I'm just gonna keep the camera pointed at the ground for now. I've already dealt with all the enemies in the area, and as you probably saw, as you definitely saw earlier. I've dealt with the Black Knight who was here before, so no nothing should be able to stop us as we go back. Of course, I've said this before, and I've turned out horribly, horribly wrong, so we'll see what happens. I'm 
No, you fuckers don't. This is the reason why I equipped the spider shield again. The spider shield will be a lifesaver in Blight Town. Yeah, again, my apologies for this, for the sniffling, it's just, and for the tone of my voice, I probably sound very nasally. BOOM! Back, bitches. BOOM! Same move, but from the other side. How do you like it? So we're gonna head back down to where we were initially. Ah, that is not what I meant to do. Wrong button, I meant to press backspace, not F12. Crosspo, you're staying with me for a bit. Uh, Hollow Soldier Shield, you're going away. Crest Shield will need you eventually. Oh, put that away. Inventory management, I apologize. We're gonna sacrifice Rusted Iron Ring, we're gonna need you in a bit. Put those away. Those away. Yeah, cold pine resin is very good for buffing your weapon in PvP, but most of the time it's unneeded. Oi, why do I have that much humanity on me? I don't need it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, this goes here, this goes here, that goes there. back and try and take care of this black knight that we neglected to kill earlier. Well, not neglected, we tried to kill earlier but failed. So, I'm gonna clear the area and because my frame rate drops like a bitch while I'm doing this. I'll see you guys in a bit.